Hello, welcome to me ranting about comics. This is a smaller week this week, so let's go ahead and jump right in with Batman Beyond Unlimited number six. Now I was, you know, let's see if this shows up better like this. There we go, not so much glare. This book actually has, as you can tell by the cover, it's just turned into Superman Beyond. I mean, it's actually kind of bugging me because I'm, I was a huge fan of the Batman Beyond cartoon, the universe this takes place in, and we're, the main focus is on Superman. The first story is on Superman, then there's the Justice League story, which is eh. And uh, the Batman story just kind of has taken a backseat. It's literally in the back, and it's a couple pages, maybe five pages. This is like a 30-some-odd page book, and I like, this 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 is a great little uh, representation here for you. This is how big, like, it's like mm, eight nine ten pages is how big the batman story is superman and justice league is right there it's the bulk of it that's at the least 20 pages and it's probably more and my biggest complaint actually may sound strange but I mean, the superman story isn't that bad the batman story is pretty good too but the 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 justice league story as much as i love dustin again he's one of my favorite artists i've got a great batman sketch by him it's not up on my wall you see off in the corner just because that's nothing but captain america sketches but still He's an amazing artist. Um, I loved his run with Paul Dini on Streets of Gotham, um, but he gives Batman Beyond a cape, and it all—it just looks weird. I mean, it looks horrible, and I, I hate that. So I don't know. And I, they, they explained it in the story, but I just don't like it. And I know he did it. If he didn't do it, his writing partner. But the thing is, he's also writing the book. He could have stopped and said. Hold up, this doesn't look right, but he didn't, so I'm going to blame him because he's the only person whose name that I can remember off the top of my head and I already put the book down and don't feel like getting it again. Moving on, Catwoman number 11. Uh, Catwoman's gone downhill for me. Um, once Zero Month hits with uh, this, this September, I'm going to drop it, but this isn't too bad. Uh, it leaves on a nice little cliffhanger uh, where the cop that uh, Catwoman's kind of taking a fancy to uh, is kidnapped. Uh, he's been shot and uh, taken by Dollhouse, who's uh, the villain in this, where basically the villain is just taking humans off the streets. Yeah, well, he could be taking cats. So human works. Anyway, taking people off the streets and selling their body parts. And so it's just a big organ trafficking thing. And Catwoman's trying to break up the ring. It's okay. I'm looking forward to the next issue, but like I said, I'm going to be dropping it. Uh, one of my favorite books going is actually, I know I say that a lot, Red Hood and the Outlaws. This had a great little bit here with uh, Starfire talking to Arsenal, and uh, uh, I think that's... I don't know if he's still going by Arsenal, to tell you the truth. There hasn't really been a story to focus on on this dude, and that's the only name that's popped in my head. That shows you how big of an importance he is. I love this book, and I don't know one of the main characters' names. Um, but uh, her and Arsenal and Red Hood go off to the side, and she's like... Do I fight for my planet? Because I really don't care. These people sold me into slavery and I'm their princess. Why should I give a crap? Um, I do know that he's actually... Roy Harper, there we go. That was going to bug me. Roy Harper is actually telling the story. And in the end, we find out who he's telling it to is um, Starfire's... Whoops. That's the bad part about ha not having a bag and board. Anyway, Starfire's older sister, who is the princess or queen of the planet. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's never really said in this book. It was said in the last issue. But it turns out she's the bad guy in this story. Uh, sadly, it won't be, this storyline won't be over with by uh, zero a month. So they're going to take a break in it. But I was... I don't know, I might keep it. The main reason I got it is because Kenneth Rockefeller's the main artist, and he's just an amazing guy. I've met him at some cons. I mean, I went just to get him to sign one thing, left his booth, and he chased after me. I had like 20 bucks at, at a con. I had 20 bucks, not the best move. He chased after me, gave me all this free swag and stuff. He was the sweetest guy. Didn't even speak English, but he made sure to chase after me and give me and my buddy all this free stuff. I just really was... Uh, I just was really surprised and shocked by that, just because most artists you meet at cons are douchebags. I'm not gonna lie, but he wasn't. He was really cool, so I decided to support him and his book. Well, he's moving to Superman at zero month, and I'm happy because I'm already getting that book. And but he's continuing to do the covers for this, so I don't know. I might, I might get it. I might not. It might just be a a book I torrent. Like I don't know what, but I don't know. We'll get into that later. Anyways, well, for some reason it's covered and I'm not going to undo it. Uh, Nightwing number 11 is the next book. 
Um, it's just basically this group of people are trying to do a revolution in the middle of Gotham. Nightwing stumbles onto it because uh, he's been framed by murder by them. He decides to break it up, and it didn't really seem all that interesting. I mean, I, I enjoy I've enjoyed this book. I picked it up halfway through, about the time of a uh, right before Night of Owl, Night of the Owls. Because I was in, I was enjoying reading. It was one of the books I was torrenting. Which, um, like I said, here later on I might start mentioning those. I just ramble too much, like I am now, and always run out of time. But I moved on to actually buying it, and this issue didn't seem interesting until this guy. He gets beat by Nightwing. Him and his followers they retreat, and some of them start deciding to quit. And you find out why they're doing this, why they're kind of trying to fight against Batman and everything, and, and Nightwing, because they used to be little petty criminals. Yeah crap beat out of them and they're mad about it and then he just goes crazy and kills all these people because they're talking about leaving it was actually really good after that it kind of pecked up the pace a little bit and i was i was shocked so it starts off slow but it, it kicks in um next up is star trek next generation and doctor who number three the only real big highlight is uh in this book the uh People of the Next Generation Enterprise go look, go look for the Doctor after he stumbled onto their ship through their databases with Starfleet and find out that Kirk and the Fourth Doctor had met uh, fighting Cybermen. It was kind of a cool little flashback, kind of funny, you know, the Fourth Doctor, who I've only, I've only seen a little bit of. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, but I've only seen so much of him. And it was kind of a nice little throwback, and I enjoyed it. Uh, the best part is after everything's said and done, uh, the eleventh doctor says, "Well, that's me," and Riker says, "No, you'd be over a hundred. He's like, "No, come on. There's no way I can be over a hundred." The joke being, he's nine hundred. It's funny to me, but maybe not to you. Anyway, next up, Justice League number eleven. Uh, they fight their way out of the mind control by Graves, done from the last issue. Uh, they go to his house, find out what's going on and how he's gone crazy. They go to uh, Colonel Trevor's house, who's a person he kidnapped in issue nine eight or nine i don't remember uh then they find out where graves is at the time and go find him and come to find out he's uh in this little land where all the dead come back to life and all the justice league members are haunted by their dead family members and there's one person that twists at the end that just kind of was like oh wow uh spoiler alert if you want to stop now i'll forgive you it's colonel trevor and wonder woman's like oh damn i failed him because she's just so pissed off that he's been kidnapped she's chasing after everybody she's beating up the justice league because they don't want her to go alone but she wants to just go and not think about it even hal jordan's like hold on we got to plan this out she, mm -mm, she beats the crap out of all of them anyway moving on the pick of the week for me which um it's been up and down this mini series has but it's uh, avengers vs x-men number eight they finally take down one of the Phoenix Force members. Uh, they take down Namor, who decides to invade Wakanda. Um, kind of a bad move on his part, because what winds up happening, even though he snaps the Red Hulk's arm in half, he's just like the cover for uh, Avengers next month, it's been, or next week, week, two weeks, I don't know, it's been previewed. His, his Literally, the bone's just protruding out of the skin. Uh, that was kind of cool, but then Namor gets defeated so much that the Phoenix Force leaves him. Sounds good, but then it goes and uh, is split evenly among the other four members. Um, so I'm don't that's probably not a good thing. And they all wind up running to the Iron Fist city I, that I can't pronounce. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious how the how the uh, fact that the power went to the other ones uh, is going to play into effect. So it's, it seems to be picking up for me. Uh, finally, my pick of the week. I know uh, my last time I picked a Marvel book, I believe, if I remember correctly, it was the last time it was uh, Death of uh, Captain America. Me being a big Captain America fan, it's one of my favorite stories. Well, this week is the story that happens right before that, Civil War. I picked this up about the same time I got the Nightwing year one that I mentioned last week. I read that one first. And I, I've read this before. I read it plenty of times. I wanted to go back and reread it again. I love this story. I mean, I know a lot of people have their problems with it. Uh, it was big for two main things. The main thing during the book, Spider-Man reveals his identity to the public. That was a huge deal, even in, in our media, in the, in the real world, world media. It was a huge deal in the universe. Of course, the other big thing was the death of Captain America after it. So I think you should definitely give this a shot if you have it, and if you have, give it another one. 